Good evening YouTube and welcome to another computing related video. Today's video is about this Acer laptop. It's a work colleagues and it's got a strange booting problem. Let's check it out. So I've just started the video recording and turned the power on and as you can see you get the Acer logo, the F2 to set up and nothing, uh, reboot straight away. You can press F2, nothing happens, Let's try and capture it again. It says please wait if you catch it in time. Nothing, just an instant restart. It won't power itself off even if you press and hold the power button. It's stuck in a reboot loop. As you can see, I've unplugged it from mains. If you watch, it's still booting, even though the lid's shut, it's unplugged. You can't turn it off. The only solution is take the battery out. And put it back in. So now it's not rebooting. The problem is the hard disk drive. It's faulty and it's not being recognized as faulty uh, but whatever reason is it's just causing it to restart. Um, I've put a laptop hard drive in from my personal laptop and that starts booting fine. This laptop's hard drive in my working laptop and it says invalid system disk. So, we've got a brand new hard drive, let's fit it. Okay, so this is the new hard drive. It's a Toshiba 500GB L200 hard disk drive. I'm going to show you now how to fit it into this Acer laptop. On the bottom of the laptop, there are two screw holes, here and here using a Phillips PH00 head screwdriver you can take these two screws out and remove this plastic cover which hides the hard drive, the RAM and the CMOS battery so let's do that one And then just fingernails should release that cover. Once we're here, we can inspect. We've got a single stick of uh, DDR something or other RAM. I don't know the exact spec. The CMOS battery. This is the Wi Fi mini PCI Express card and the offending hard drive. There's one further screw to remove to take the hard drive caddy away. The hard drive itself is secured also by the same two screws that hold the back cover on and through this hole here and this hole here. I'm just trying to focus you in a little bit further. So this hole and this hole. So they've been removed by removing the plastic cover. We can undo the remaining screw. They're all the same screws so don't worry about uh, keeping them separate. I uh, forgot to mention this is an Acer Aspire 5742. Uh, once that screw is out, I wouldn't pull on this, which usually is the pull tab for the hard drive because it just pulls it straight out. I've already removed it and you can see it's all bowed up and blistered. It's kind of get your fingernails in and pull it away kind of job. And what you're aiming to do is on the caddy there's a little nut, uh, a lug sorry, that goes in a plastic channel and you need to release it far enough back to um, be able to get it out of that lug. It can be quite tight, I might need to sit down and apply some pressure. Nope, there we go, got it, fingernails. Okay, so this is the damaged Western Digital 320 gigabyte drive and the caddy holds the drive in place with these four silver head 
screws, so I'll just remove those. Keep these separate, even though we know which ones are which, because they're silver and the other are black. They're very small, so um, just be careful. About losing them. This hard drive is completely and utterly trashed. It doesn't get detected in any um, system I've put it in. So I'm not too worried about dropping it, etc. This is all live, one big clip, so I apologise if it's drawn out. But that's the, uh, the caddy tray and the whole hard drive. The new drive has come in this plastic bag and it's ever so slightly thicker. Oh no, actually, it's about the same. Yeah, it's the same profile, it just feels a bit uh, heavier. And the, the drive goes with the connectors towards the battery and memory and the plastic sheeting goes over the back just like that and I'll screw the little screws back in This laptop was uh, upgraded to Windows 10, so it's going to get Windows 10 reinstalled. I think it was Home. I'm not sure. I'll try Home. If that doesn't activate, I'll go with Pro. But the Windows 7 license it came with was originally Home Premium, so I'm guessing it was upgraded to Windows 10 Home. And there we go, it's dropped on the floor. Just bear with me one second. Box I locate and I have found the screw. And we can then slide this one back in. You've got to get the little catch. I don't know if you can see, see this little catch there it goes in a groove on the uh, plastic chassis of the laptop and then you can slide it up if it will focus and we're in so now it's just a case of reinserting those two black screws this one first put the plastic cover back on always the tricky bit, snapping it back in. Getting everything aligned up. And then put the new, the, the original screws back into the cover. screwdriver lock the battery back in place and that should be good to go let's give it a quick turn on Just you up ever so slightly. There we go. Now it's trying to fix your boot. No bootable devices. Insert boot disc. Compress any key. Result. Okay, I've got a uh, Windows 10 install. This is an ISO with both home and professional. 
Let's see if we can boot the USB drive. It looks like we're stuck in Pixie Boot. Let's turn it off and try again. to set up and just make sure USB boot is enabled. I've gone into the BIOS settings and made sure the USB, hard drive, CD-ROM and floppy disk drive are all before the IDE and moved networking uh, Pixie boot to the, the bottom. So if we save and exit, it should now boot the USB thumb drive. And it does. If it will focus. Well that's pretty much it for this Acer Aspire 5742 laptop. Um, I'm going to reinstall Windows 10 now and call it the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Please Comment if you've got one and like and subscribe. Thank you very much and good night.